Hello and welcome to Business Insider with Mario Tanaguzzi on YYC Business. Joining me today is Ben Myers, who is president of Bullpen Research and Consulting. Thanks for joining us today, Ben. Well, thanks for having me. Well, uh, the rentals.ca uh, just put out the national rent report uh, for April. Um, and you're here to chat about this. And uh, we'll talk a little uh, about the Calgary market, first of all, uh, uh, Ben. Um, I looked at some of the stats and uh, Calgary was 25 uh, out of 35 cities for the average monthly rent uh, for a one bedroom at $1,191 and 26th overall for two bedrooms at $1,483. Um, but the uh, rents have gone up 11%. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Why have we seen the rental increases in Calgary? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of interesting when you start breaking down the information, you know, uh, when we're just looking at all property types, so including singles, semi throws, uh, rental apartments, condo apartments, uh, rent in Calgary is up about 7% year over year, which, you know, looks like a pretty big number. But when you track it back to, uh, you know, to April of 2020, rents dropped off a cliff month over month. So a yeah. lot of uh, a lot of landlords pulled their their listings off of rentals.ca. A lot of uh, people just said, you know, let's let's just hold back and see what's see what's happening. And some really dropped their rents worrying that uh, you know the market was going to go into a free fall. And it wasn't it wasn't just Calgary. This happened in several major markets uh, across the country. So when you're comparing April of this year to April of, of 2020, the numbers start to look a little bit funny. So yeah, um, so yeah, there was a pickup um, uh, year over year, but if you look back to uh, where rents were in kind of the peak of the market in, in the fall of 2019, they're still down. So just to quote a few, a few numbers. So the average uh, rent for, again, all property types is $1,373 uh, a month in in Calgary, and that was up from 1,282. But if you look back to um, you know 2019, it was actually over 1,500 dollars a month on average. So it's still down from where it was, kind of at the peak of the market. And if, and, and if similar numbers hold for if you just look at rental apartments, which makes up you know the bulk of the listings on on rentals.ca. If I just take a quick peek, the, the rentals are actually up 14 percent year over year to. Uh, uh, to 1,335, but again, go back to 2019, yeah. and, and rents are over 1,400. So it's it's not back to where the peak, but certainly it's starting to trend in a better direction. If you are a landlord, not a not a yeah. trend if you are a, if you are a tenant. So why why are those rents uh, uh, moving up? Well, I think it's a it's a couple factors. I think uh, you know people are starting to uh, think about returning to downtown and returning to work. Uh, and, and they, you know, they're going to sign a one-year lease. Um, you know, I think a lot of people were trying to time the bottom of the market, or saying, "Well, we think it's going to go up, so let's let's yeah. get back into the uh, let back into the market." So, uh, you know, people getting vaccinated. There is some light at the end of the tunnel, despite obviously the you know the, the COVID numbers where you're at and the COVID numbers where 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 I'm at here in Toronto, um, not looking that great. But there is some light at the end of the tunnel, and I, I mean, I don't think it's if we're going to see any type of sharp rise in rents. I think we're we're going to see maybe a slow increase in you know in the Calgary, Edmonton markets, in the Toronto markets, Montreal, uh, Vancouver. I think it's going to be a uh, kind of a slow trip up until we start to see consistent numbers. Uh, you know, of very very small COVID numbers. Work. Uh, you know, employers getting their employees back into the office. Once that starts to happen, then I think we'll start to see rents really shoot up. Uh, and that's probably not going to happen until 2022. Yeah. What about the vacancy rate in Calgary? What's happening with that? Well, I mean, rentals.ca doesn't track the vacancy rate. Uh, you know, CMHC tracks the, the vacancy rate. And, 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 and yeah, I mean, uh, the, the rate had, you know, as you know, you know, just really took off uh, when, when the energy market uh, uh, went down. But it has been trending down uh, over the last few years. So that's certainly yeah. positive for uh, for, uh, you know, developers and, and, and landlords, again, on the other side, if you're, if it's a tenant watching this, they may not like to see that. Right. But, yeah. uh, uh, like, like any market, when the rent, when the, the vacancy rate goes up then developers are less likely to build, uh, projects and then, um, you know, less supply comes on the market and we start to see a little bit more of a balance. So, 
Uh, it's hard to tell where it's going to go in Calgary. Uh, I mean, we're in such uncertain times. I really don't know what's what's going to happen. I have to be completely honest. I mean, the the world is just so topsy turvy right now. Yeah. I think I think when 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 this pandemic is over, we're going to start to see massive immigration into our country. Mm. Uh, I think people are are we're we're probably really shook up by the the, the COVID response in their country and and and. As we know, uh, you know, having having lived here, it's a great place to live, and people want to come in here. And obviously, the Alberta market uh, is very uh, affordable in in comparison to uh, to British Columbia and Ontario. So, yeah. uh, if if Calgary can continue to add jobs that are maybe outside the energy sector, uh, they're going to attract a lot of people. So, uh, you know, thank you for mentioning uh, the immigration issue. I was going to ask you about that and. Uh, uh, you know, that is one of the drivers of demand uh, is immigration. Uh, another driver of demand is, uh, you know, universities, right? And, uh, you know, I know I lived through it myself. Uh, my, you know, my daughter last year, right, uh, you know, March rolled around and uh, she was done. Uh, she was online, uh, right? And uh, yeah. in Montreal. So, so uh, you know, that has, ha you know, for, for the thousands of people, who uh, who ended up going back home, right, uh, uh, and and finishing off, uh, say, finishing off their school and uh, online. Uh, the opening up of universities will also drive the market, will it not? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, students are a huge driver of any rental market. But if you, if you look at the uh, the uh, the rental rates in and around several of the major universities, they really went down, right, um, uh, over the course of the, the pandemic, and and also in areas that uh, had a decent amount of Airbnb activity that were tourist hubs, uh, they saw a decline because some of these investors put those units back onto the full time market. So, yeah. and again, not only is it students going back and living with mom and dad, it's it's the amount of uh, of international students that didn't come to this this country. Yeah. They're learning virtually in, in in their country. We've continued to increase the number of uh, international students in, in Canada over the last few years. So uh, um, I think, I, I certainly think we're going to see a, a, a big jump in students wanting to, to come to Canada in the next couple of years. So okay. uh, we'll, I think we'll see a big increase in, in rent in those, in those in the London Ontarios and in, in, uh, in uh, Kingston Ontarios and in, in, yeah. in, in Edmonton and Calgary, uh, University of Calgary. Um, and uh, I think we'll start to see a, a big boost in those areas. All right. Last question I had for you, Ben, is when when you look at the the uh, uh, the amount of rent that people are paying in Calgary compared to the rest of the country and the sort of the Vancouver's and the and the Toronto's of the world, I I guess historically, uh, and this goes as well for the housing market. Uh, uh, historically, uh, Calgary is pretty affordable place when you compare it to those types of centers, is it not? Yeah, I mean, to, to pay, you know, $1,300 on average for rent, you know, overall in the, in, in the, in the city of Calgary, it, it, uh, it uh, puts a little bit of a smile on my face, you know, seeing the, uh, you know, a, a studio go for $1,800 a month or a one bedroom is going for $2,000, $2,400 a month in downtown Toronto. Uh, and sometimes even more in, in in Vancouver in some of the prime prime neighborhoods. So yeah, um, it's it's significantly cheaper and uh, and but it's expensive in comparison to Regina. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Everything's relative and comparison, right? Yeah. All right, super. Well, thanks a lot, Ben, for joining us today. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Okay, great. That was Ben Myers, who's president of Bullpen Research and Consulting. This has been Business Insider with Mario Tanaguzzi on YYC Business. Thanks for joining us today.